Hi, Aaron. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you so much for being willing to chat with me today. Absolutely no problem. So, just wondering if you're interested in sharing some details about your life. We will start off with your early life. Like, where were you born? I was born in a place of Quebec called Point Claire. And how long did you live there? I lived there for most of my life, actually, until I was in my early 20s and ended up homeless in Hastings, Vancouver downtown. What brought you out to Hastings? Well, it was kind of like a decision that like involved whether or not I was going to survive in winter. So like it was minus 40 in the middle of winter in Montreal, which is where I'm from, in Quebec. And the snow was like piling up in the middle of winter when I ended up homeless because I had a like a, a falling out with my family. And as the snow built up and the weather was so cold, it was like unlivable. So I immediately was like in survival instincts, trying to survive and get out of the winter. So I decided to hitchhike and come to Vancouver where I knew for sure there was better weather. That makes sense then. And so yeah, it all started with this falling out you had. Yeah. And you, then you became homeless. And yeah. what was family like uh, in your childhood, family life like? You know what, actually it was kind of like toxic. It was a very, the family, my, my father was very uh, kind of abusive. And uh, the, the problem is that there's a kind of abuse that involves respect. And he was very much a yelling, like he would yell a lot. And so it was like just a little over the top, you know, like it wasn't normal and respectful manners that at least if it was something like a person that was abusing someone, they at least didn't mean what they were saying. He, he was like passionate in ways about what he was saying and things he was doing. And uh, I, wouldn't res I wouldn't say I respected much of what he did in the long run, but I did respect him as a man. All right, and then did you have siblings? Yes, I have well, technically two brothers. So like I have a, my, my brother, uh, uh, he's uh, older than me. I have a brother that's 38, I would imagine. If I have the right date, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, he's a good man. He's very hard working. He turned his life around. We, we kind of grew up in a, a ghetto area of Montreal. And the actual area was kind of strange. It was a rich area and a poor area in the same area. So like there was wealth and then there was poverty all in the same area. And uh, the homeless people that lived around there were like uh, kind of there a very long time and now that I'm homeless I kind of look back on it because I knew a guy actually that when I was a child growing up I knew him and he was homeless for like most of my life even I knew him he would sleep in the forest in the areas of like putting up tents and stuff and I hadn't envisioned my life being homeless you know I, I particularly dreamed of being someone that would teach people and I wanted to be a professor, actually. I haven't given up on that, though. You wanted to be a professor? Yeah. And uh, what were you wanting to teach? Actually, just about anything. Mm -hmm. Like, I could teach math, English, another language, history, science, physics. It didn't matter, actually. Did and you I, do quite well in school, can I ask? I actually, I will say the honest, the honest answer is that I, I got passing grades. But I was learning either way, and if I had put pen to paper, I would have had like honor roll marks. I, I was listening, I was hearing, and I was learning. So like, when it came time to do the test or the exams, I was just a particular type of person that was going through life and really kind of going through something, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I'm a person that, that would stand out as maybe like an innocent type. I always try to do something right, no matter what it is. And if it means to be right though, it's not saying the same thing. Like the difference between right and wrong is like saying, if I had to be right about what I was doing with a person, that was a matter of being respectful, being fair, and being honest. And it didn't necessarily mean that it meant I had to be right. Sometimes life has gone on in ways for me that 
I felt I was doing something I didn't want to do, but I did it anyway. Just doing what you needed to do at the time. Okay, so so there was you had potential. You know that if you just had maybe Certainly. different opportunities or a different situation, you had great potential to learn and to get somewhere in life. And no doubt, still, no doubt. Still would like to try to achieve something more of like course. in your case you're thinking higher education yes and, and teaching others so that's yeah even if it's just working a, a, a job of any kind actually yeah. for right now like I feel humbled by the means I've been learning from people as I've been in the street even the most rough person I've learned from mm. okay. about respect about how to carry yourself about how to like learn from people and like I'm very much a person in life and experience that wants to be important. Okay, you were saying. Yes, yeah, so I was saying about achieving goals and that it, whether you ask me that whether or not I still want to achieve goals in life and definitely there's the, the goal beyond survival is to be a person that does something honorable that matters like if I were to doing art for example or music like playing piano and it, like learning to the point I do like a concert or something and contribute to people's lives through an experience they could have with me because I've actually been through things in my life in ways that matters to the community. I know that because as I've been a person in my solitude, I've contemplated in ways and done things in ways that like people matter to me here. and. Um, I'm not saying that their lives are mine to be entitled to or something. Like their life is their life and that's how I roll in ways as a person living the way I am that like no one's life is mine to be had in ways of honor but I think that people would like probably experience something if they were to know something like me playing music, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I play piano. Oh, you play the piano? Yeah. Oh, so you grew up taking piano lessons? No, I taught myself. Pretty while good. being homeless really yeah that's incredible i was going to a library and actually playing off the piano every day oh. and taught myself how to play was that in vancouver uh both montreal and vancouver because mm. i've been back and forth over seven years can i ask how old you are i'm 33 33 and how long have you been for the most part in vancouver I think S at least he... seven years because okay. i was also homeless at a younger age mm. like in my early 20s so it's been like, I'm being 33, so it's like 13 years off and on, actually. Okay. Can I ask you, uh, what is the main thing that keeps you being homeless? Or is it a, yeah. something you are, well, just a way that you're choosing to live? You know, um, the community is very much um, about who you know. And people are from here, you know. So family is very important in life here. And family in ways of friends as well, like... Not just family in the traditional way, but family in terms of who you know. And it's a very rough community too, you know, so... But are you feeling like you've got some family down, like it's like your family? I feel like one some thing I've people? established at least was like common respect. Like some kind of respect, you know? At the least. Like I just... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say so for my own sake to just like put myself out on the whim, you know? To be like saying, hey, I, 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 I'm a person that commands respect, but I'm a person that at least lives by respect. Okay. So you're homeless at the moment? Are you staying yes. shelters, or how is it working? Yeah, I stay in shelters off and on, but I actually, I developed a kind of habit of like walking through the nights because it kind of like personal like sanctity, you know, like. I don't, I don't have, I don't be walking the streets for like my own reasons though, because like you have to, you have to get along with people, you know, and like I don't want to be homeless, you know. It's not something I, I seeked out in life. I ended up homeless out of a circumstance. And do you have some some strategies or ways to? Is there something in, in place that you can take advantage of to, to pull yourself out of homelessness? I think, as of late, I felt like people were willing to help me, 
and I never asked for help very much in my life so I don't feel like I deserve in ways uh, like necessarily someone to help me I have no expectations but the thanks the thanks I have is the people that have helped me as well as people that haven't you know because there's there's enough like uh, common ground between people and I what are your hopes for the future for yourself? Yeah, I ran into some legal troubles a little bit because I was homeless. And that's what I was saying earlier about, you know, the guilt thing. Like, it's not my thing to be a person that's done something wrong, you know? I was experiencing a bit of a uh, bit of a craziness going on. I wasn't in, like all myself, you know? Were there substances involved with this? Were there substances involved? Actually, yes, of course. Okay, all right. I have used drugs before, for sure. Are you then involved with rehab facilities? The institutionalism hasn't really worked with me. I've had to work it out myself. Mm, good for you. Yeah. But I, I think I know what you mean by saying good for you because... I, I, I don't know what you mean to say, actually. Well, but I, I guess some people can. They find it's a better way and they can somehow manage to um, deal with an addiction or a substance use issue their own way. That's right. And uh, I don't know, I guess maybe good for you is not the exact right thing to say, but you found a way I think I'm going to get out of it, system. though. Like, I, will, I will quit by the, by the will of people involved in my life eventually and my own will to do so for my own sake. I will quit drugs. That's good to hear. And you still have you some You can't do things alone in life. Yeah. Not when it comes to needing help, you know? When you need help, you gotta have support from people. And so you've got friends and community enough that you know you've got some supportive people around you. I have you. the kind of friends that matter and sometimes it's only in business sake, but what matters to me is that I don't be a person that's not a man of my word, you know? If I even intended to say something I was going to do, I intend to do it. Good. So. Like if it was to pay someone back that was helping me, like if someone would say, no, here's $10, pay me back. I would more than intend to do so, and if I had the means of capable of doing so, I would do so. But I don't even say the means of capability, I would just do so, you know? That would be the, the first intention was like, okay, I'm going to pay you back, and that's what I'm going to do. In the future you say you'd like to be a, a professor or just also I, think, I think I can do substitute teaching I think oh. I can do substitute teaching like fill in for like uh, pet days and stuff like that like teach with children like teenagers are you probably thinking be good. that you have you had education in or are you thinking of going back to school and getting an education in this area well I think if I like wanted to be a substitute teacher I could just take like a diploma program maybe like two years so I could take like a like a humanities two years like program that sounds like, like a, good a short idea. program yeah yeah and then be able to teach in schools oh, I hope like you get be a, be a substitute to do that. teacher yeah i really i appreciate that thank you i i i do means to say i do mean to say sorry that like there's something about children you know they i don't want to talk about it but i want to say one thing that when my when i was in my youth I really enjoyed being young and I am appreciative of what it means to be young and if it matters about God and all that stuff that is about religion or faith or even atheism, you know, being young is an opportunity in life and I'm capable of paying back my contribution to community by helping those with opportunities like young people. Wonderful thing to do. Hope for the next generation. Yeah. Now, you mentioned something about faith. Do you have a particular faith? Alright, so the way I look at it is pretty simple. There is God, okay? So like, if it matters to argue about it, there's no argument that's necessary. Might sound a little bit like something, particularly saying something that a lot of people would immediately have a thought about but trust me you exist you know you're alive you, you got a body you got a mind you got more than that that matters it's spiritual and everything but like you know you're alive 
If you weren't alive, you wouldn't be dead, you know? If that makes sense. If, if you weren't alive, you wouldn't be dead means like, if you were living and you're alive, then you're not really capable of dying, you know? But death is, it's, it's suffering. It's something we're going through. And God more than exists, you know? You gotta do the math and think there was at least two people or two persons that were there first that had to be the first two persons, you know? They had to be the first two persons that were alive that figured out how to create people. So in this case, it's Adam and Eve? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But like Adam and Eve were created by God, right? So, not to say so, but I think it's just that it's not about the particulars about every other faith. It's about how we're passionate about who we are. So every person is entitled to their own faiths. And I'm a person of honor that's appreciative of each person in their own faith. What I do is I practice a life that knows there's something important about each of us and something, someone I can be in ways to be important to people that it matters by any standard of any person. And it, I strive for that because I'm working for that, you know? I'm not living just to like be a person that necessarily needs to be known by that though too. I don't need to be known as important as a person that's important to you. I just want to be a person that is important and it's known. You know, it's between us, it's commonly known that I'm a person of importance that's contributing to each life, everlasting, every person. You've got your own particular purpose. Yes. And mission or thing to do on this earth that's of value. Definitely. To humanity. Yeah. Definitely. It's not easy, you know, like, because everybody is uh, about their own life. Which, whether it's selfish or not, it doesn't matter. Everybody's about their own life, and that's what matters the most, half the time. And so if you want to be important to people, and you want it commonly known among all people that ever is, there's something you got to be about that's about difference. Each person being selfish is each different person. And if you're a person that wants to be important to all people, you have to be about that difference. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to be important to all people. Well, thank you for sharing that. That's, no problem. Uh, when thinking about this, well thought yeah. out uh, way your view. I don't mean to be some life. kind of like a deep thinker necessarily, but I, I can do that. It. But it's yeah. just what is not necessary sometimes, you know? Just living, living for living is like enough for some people, you know? Well, Aaron, I thank you so much for sharing all this with me. Uh, no it's been so nice to meet you. Very interesting way you're looking at things and view your life and seem to have a good attitude about life and your community and what you'd like to do in the future and the ways you'd like to contribute to this existence. So that's, I really appreciate that. Awesome. And now we're in spring and I hope you have a, a wonderful spring and that the road leads to where you would like to get to. That your hopes and dreams come true. Salutations, thank you so much everyone.